Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you my original design called the Boxed Bow Bracelet. As you can see, in the center of these bands have these little bow-like shapes, and this bracelet is really thin. Over here, as a reference, I have all these other bracelets. This is the Hexafish. This is the spinal cord, hex dots, tribal fishtail, fishtail sandwich, gumdrop, snake belly. And as you can see, this bracelet is really thin compared to all of them. It only requires two pins, so you can make it on a rainbow loom, a monster tail, a fork, the mini loom. And I would highly recommend using only two colors in the beginning. You can use a gradient, but for this tutorial, we'll be making this bracelet right here, this green and white one. And if you like the bracelet already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it helps other people find this tutorial. And without wasting your time any further, let's get started. So in order to make the bow box bracelet, you're only going to need two pegs. I'm going to be using these two pegs right here. You don't really need these bases, but I'm just using these in order to secure the loom for the tutorial. You can use a mini loom, a monster tail, a fork, anything that has two pegs. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is grab my border color and I'm going to triple loop it. Easiest way to do that is take my hook with the hook facing forward. Get in front of the right side, go through, twist it around so you create this cross, then bring the hook through this loop, and bring it down this time and forward so you create another cross, and bring the hook through that loop, and now push it through, and grab all three ends, just like this, and place this triple cap band on top of this second peg right here, okay? And push down. Next, you wanna grab two more bands that are the same color as your border and place it on top of these two pegs straight. One on top of the other so that they are not overlapping anywhere, okay? Next, you want to grab your bow color, which is lime green for me. Push down slightly and place it on top normally. As you can see, none of them are overlapping, so I'm good. And I'm going to use my hook to grab that triple cap band on this peg and grab all three ends and bring it up and over to the center and push down slightly. Okay, next I'm going to grab another band that is my border color, which is white, and place it on top normally. So now there are four bands on each of these pegs, and this is where we start the sequence of looping. It's kind of like an inverted loop, except there's four bands, and the one thing that you need to recognize is you're always going in front of that second band from the top. So as you can see, this is one, this is that second band. You have to go in front of it. And since the white band is on top, I'm grabbing the bottom most white band after I'm in front of this second band. So in front and I'm grabbing that bottom most white and I'm bringing it up and over, okay? Sometimes this green band is gonna fall below like this. You wanna make sure it's always in between whites. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Remember, get in front of that second band and grab that bottom most white and bring it up and over, okay? And you push down. And now we're gonna grab a green and place it on top normally. 
again, we are getting in front of that second band from the top, but we're grabbing the same color as the top band. So since the top band is green, I'm grabbing that bottom most green and bring it up and over, doing the same thing on this side. Get in front of that second band from the top and grab the bottom most green because green is the band on top. Okay, and push down. Since the top band is green, we're going back to white, placing this on top. Again, get in front of the second band from the top and grab the bottom most band that's the same color as the top band, which is white. So the bottom most white we're grabbing and bringing up and over. And just like I said before, this band slipped to the bottom. You always want to make sure order is intact. So I'm bringing it back. Okay. Over here, get in front of that second band. Grab the bottom most white. Bring it up and over. Push down. Grab the green. Place the green on top normally. Get in front of that second band. Grab the same color as the top band, which is green, but the bottom most one. In front of that second band. Grab the bottom most green, bring it up. And grab your next white and place it on top normally. And we're just gonna repeat this over and over until this bracelet grows long enough to fit around your wrist. So I'm just gonna go a little bit faster now. That's really all it is. Just alternating back and forth and grabbing the bottom most band. That's the same color as your top band. Okay. Okay, so I think that's enough for you to understand the sequence. I'm just going to fade towards the end when this bracelet is long enough for me to clip. All right, so here towards the end, this is going to be my last sequence. 
before I start to clip. Okay, get in front of that second bend. Grab the bottommost bend that's the same color as the top bend. Make sure you reorganize. Now, as you can see, there's two whites in a row, and we want to bring up that bottom white. Bring it up and over. Bottom white. Bring it up and over. Okay. And now you want to take all of these bands right here on the second peg. Get in with your hook, just like this. Hold down on the bracelet over here. Pull this off and bring it over. So now all four ends are on this first peg. At this point you can grab a C-clip and you just want to go in right here and grab all four of these ends with the C-clip. I'm just going to go in and push down. This. Once you know you have all four ends, you can pull it off. Okay. As you can see, I have all four ends. And now I can pull off. So right here, I'm just going to stretch it, and as you can see, it is done, so I'm just going to wrap it back straight to itself, and then clip these initial three ends of that triple cap band. it like that. And there you have it. That is the completed boxed bow stitch. This is Rob from Justin's Toys. Thanks for watching. If you like this design, please remember to like the video and share it with everyone. Happy looming.